respect for the name. What's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? You know? Shout out Deb Nevin and his motherfucker. Shout out Young Bear. What's good? That's your whole episode with the swiftness. Is that music playing? Can you hear music? No, like a yeah. bass. You lost in the sauce, bro. Hold on, my nigga. You lost in the sauce, bro. It did not have the sweet water for No, yeah. This nigga Bernie stole the sweet water for Bro, put that shit back up there, yo. Bernie stole the goddamn sweet water for You thieving ass nigga. This nigga stole the. What the fuck? Go back to that shit, bro. Get the fuck out of here, Bernie. You old thief. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, he tried to, he made that bitch squiggly <laughs> to try to make it different. Yo, Bernie, you sticky smoke, so nigga. Right. This is fucking kid that bought the last Second Amendment fucking TV, and I haven't sent him this shit, bro. And this motherfucker, um, Ben bought it like two months ago, but he hit me. He was like, he was like, bro, if uh, like, are you gonna send it? Like, um, I seen you on uh, JPEG's live, so, on his stories, so I understand if you, um, if you're busy with some shit. Right. And, um, I was like, yeah, yo, thank you for understanding. Like, shit, like, I felt bad, like, shit, like, because, you know what I mean? Like, I, it just passed me. It's not like I don't want to send it to him. Like, yeah. I just fucking, it's been, like... I don't know, I'll be forgetting because it's the last one type shit. Yeah. So I feel bad. So I was going to ask you if you could send him a sweater or some shit. They were different too. And that's like that. That's the one left in the game. This is the one that that. I 
after this prime, after this prime, I lose more. Out of this room. Everybody says, everybody says, don't grab the put, it's not bad. That's so terrible. You should care about this, you should care about it. And then he's just winning and winning and uh, getting like b getting acquitted and like, like what the fuck, bro? Can't lose. He can't lose, he's not losing. They don't but like yo, when I watch like Jimmy Kimmel and shit, I'm like, yo, no one believes y'all no more. Like Trevor Noah and all them niggas when they be joking on them. I'm just like nobody believes y'all. Him even being here. Is defiance of what y'all said could happen because y'all said that couldn't happen, mm -hmm. and he's here and he's gonna win again. And these niggas are just still making yeah, jokes. It's not funny anymore. Blacks for Trump? He said. Yeah. What do you prefer, blacks for Trump or African Americans for Trump? <laughs> he went to Atlanta and did that. He can't make this shit up, bro. He did that shit. <laughs> he spoke for 50 more minutes after that, and he had him eating out the palm of his hand. Crushed it. That's why he's gonna win, bro. Because that shit happened in real life, and there's no poll from none of these pussy ass hipster New York niggas that can convince me that that's not real. I saw this in real life. You can't. No one believes them no more. No one believes Trevor Noah and shit when they joke and they're like, he's so dumb and he's just there. Right. Obviously. If this nigga walked into fucking Atlanta and his presence alone had them screaming blacks for Trump, bro, how can he lose? Explain to me how he's gonna lose. Oh, We're all good. Yeah, it's been recording? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, but I just started a new clip so you know like when you actually wanted to. Yeah, yeah. I oh, it's just. Man, I, I'm gonna fuck with that shit. I woke up, man. <laughs> like, dog, what the fuck happened, man? Then I look at my Twitter, they like, that was, you know, the gamers, they like, that shit was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Like you know what's so crazy? They they, they <laughs> gassed us up. They were like, oh, it's so good, yo. Everybody in the chat loves it. About no, the but then like, I come here and you're like, yo, niggas was fucking hating that they shit. Hate that shit. I'm just like, it. They were lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> They're like, this is the best one we've ever had. It's great. We really love you guys. It's like one of the most controversial ones they had. <laughs> but it's Rockstar, nigga. They got billions. Don't give a fuck. Three tickets to tonight murder show. <laughs> what? I used to be cold. I <laughs> swear. Get you one free RSVP? Come on, you wanna get tickets to the murder show? Pull up! How does to come up with that shit, man? Adderall. <laughs> Look, nigga, I'm snake, I detect bitch nigga in your blood trace. They did some hip hop, they used to have some hip hop ass shit on this shit. Hold up. What? Well, I got off tour like um, November and I just been chilling. Um, I've been really enjoying this time off. You know, we don't get like no, time I, off. Like that's that. why I take years off. I feel you, bro. I, can, I, I can't no more. I'm about to make it out. I mean, I'm trying to drop elements as quick as I ever did. Man, look, man. I'm trying to control I'm trying to turn around. Any way I can, man. Man, you, man bro. Genuine. We don't have to talk about this no more. 
<laughs> you know, we don't count no more. You already know, nigga. I don't do this. Oh, yeah. You tell me anytime, nigga. I'm, I'm out there. You get what I'm saying? Are we recording? Yeah. Right. You so know who he is? Huh? The rockers. Rockers. You remember them? Oh, the wrestlers. The, the Shawn rockers. Michaels and Marty Janetti. Yeah, yeah, Marty Janetti. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, bro. He said the rockers. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. <laughs> fuck you, man. Yo, bro, nah, you Marty know Janetti, you. Marty Janetti, Marty Janetti, a You got, you got, you got seniority, bro. Marty, Marty Janetti. I'm not heartbreak kid though. I'm heartbreak kid. I got the earrings. Heartbreak kid. See, boy. Oh, <laughs> you know, what your boy? He so, boy. Think about it. How ill he was to make his own raffler entry. Other, other, niggas, nigga other niggas pay nigga like Hulk Hogan, he had a nigga making shit or whatever, or whatever they use the song. This nigga said, I'm gonna go to the studio and say, I'm said, not your sex, I'm a sexy boy. I'm, a sh- I'm not your boy. Too. She said, hit me up, I'm being in the studio today. Punch in. <laughs> I really thought, because I've really been like thinking about like my past and like why I am the way I am type shit, that kind of stuff. So I really thought back and I realized that at some point I made a decision to specifically stay away from this kind of shit because that's what I grew up around. Mm-hmm. I don't want it. I'm like, I don't want that on a wide scale if I become a big rapper. So it's just like, I'll take all the little corny white fans. Yeah, yeah, I'll take all the big rapper. What the fuck you talking about? Huh? You are a big rapper. I'm not a big man, no, bro. I'm not, I mean. No, bro. you're a big rapper, bro. You're, you're, you're legacy. Every, you're a big rapper, bro. You don't have to humble yourself like that. You're Danny Brown. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't, bro. You're Danny Brown, yo. You're literally Danny Brown in reality. I, I saw you perform 10 years ago, dog. <laughs> you didn't know who the fuck I even was. I was already listening to you for years before that, bro. That's you good. are literally one of the reasons I'm here. That like, should make you, me so old. And no, I, no, I don't, don't. It should make you feel old. It should make you feel proud, yo. Like, no, what you no. did will last forever, bro. One thing Ever. I think, one thing I do think. I'm drunk. No, no, it ain't drunk. It's real shit. One thing but I do real. think I did in some sense was, before I really was around like that, one thing that I did notice is that Motherfuckers weren't really being themselves like that. Like it was a stigma about having to be a rapper. Yeah. And you had to have a certain persona of being a rapper. They my whole shit was thought out. Like I came from selling drug rap. And you know, like it was like, damn, I ain't sold drugs but ever. I can't keep rap about something, but what do I, I do drugs? So like it was like all conscious decisions for my content that I was making. Yeah, understood. Now to the point where you see everybody just rap about how they do drugs. And yeah. They getting fucked up. And that's like my pop, that's like one of my things that I feel like I fucked up a little bit because I changed the game from when I came in it, everybody's rapping about selling drugs. I was the one rapping about doing drugs. Now everybody's rapping about doing drugs and no one rapping about selling drugs. Goofy shit niggas. It ain't doing. even about the beats, Peggy. You know what it is? What is it? It's about the way you sequence it and the way you put shit together. Thank you, man. You're like a mad lib in that world where oh, man, where you can keep it to your listen. You can keep it to yourself or you can expand it to the point where. A person like, or anybody, any rapper that comes into you, be like, oh, I want to make a rap with Peggy, and then you give them, and you give them that Peggy. Like a Swiss, you are, you have became that. Where people come into you know what we're going to get. Like, we uh, want, and we want the fullness of the Peggy shit. We yeah. want the skits, we want the, do you get what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. It's not I'm... even about the music with you anymore. That's what makes you even bigger than what you think. I'm telling you, bro. Thank you, man. This shit is crazy. That's all I'm saying. I before. told you, that. I, I, I created bro. a world that, bro. I, I tried to create a world because I, I, I don't feel like, That's I know niggas who rap, like, you are a rapper to me. I don't consider myself, like, some kind of, like, I no, rap. you're a musician. I tell people. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say, I, it's all about I'm the all only, of all things. Listen, I'm only good at rapping. Which, that's why I have this, something that, I have an Achilles heel. I'm only good at this one thing. I may be funny. I may have a personality. I may have all the other shit. But, I can't make all the songs on this in my life. The idea of growing old and, like, withering away is terrifying. It's the worst. Yeah, it's the worst, though. They it's say that. They shit. say God punishes you when you do that. That's what I'm saying. I'm they just say like, that's, yo. That's really the real hell. Imagine. I heard that. You ever heard that thing? They said that's the real hell. The one that I... Imagine you 80-something years old. What is your process? What is your thought process? You could go at any fucking moment. If you die at 81, no one will bat an eye. If I die right now, I'm 30. People will be like, that's weird. So that way, I have to take care of ourselves now. You know what I'm saying? You know what you read really again? You're a teenager. You can smack a bitch on the ass. Maybe like, oh, that old dirty man. But cuss a kid out. Niggas, I feel lame. Like like, 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 old nigga, man. I'm gonna die. You know what I'm saying? You back at you, you can do the fuck, fuck around being a double, and no one would fucking give you shit for it. Cuss out everybody. What nigga? My senior discount, bitch. Be right. You had McDonald's. Why you think twenty cents, bro? Cussing everybody. Going out. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? If Going I get that old nigga, I'm that old nigga. Yeah, if, you, I make it, if you even get to that age, no one's gonna bat an eye at nothing. You remember when Quincy Jones was like, hey, bro, I fucked Ivanka Trump, this who killed Kennedy, blah, blah, blah. 
Nobody remember that, right? I remember that shit because I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. This nigga is 89 years old. I forgot old. about that. But no, I remember real shit. when that happened. This nigga 89 years old. That was crazy. He's 88 years old, bro. What what other reason would he have to say? He said he fucked Ivanka Trump and then segued into who killed Kennedy. He's like, I fucked Ivanka Trump. He and then, like, he, three sentences later, you know, I was like, yeah, I know who killed Kennedy. He thought he's about to die. That's what the old niggas think they about to go. Yeah, he just he dumped like, info. He, he like, the Beatles suck. <laughs> MJ was a thief. Motherfucker, I fucked Ivanka Trump. This who killed Kennedy. I'm out.